it's me Mel Darby welcome to my channel if it's not your first time watching welcome back we are trying more makeup today I have the super goop protected I got a hold of it it's been sold out for a while very very popular I've seen dupes of it and everything but I got my hands on it so that's what we are trying out today so try to navigate this tent tinted sunscreen lighter coverage kind of area so just playing around with some of the products and i've heard really good things about this so if you're interested in seeing me try this product stay tuned okay so let's get into it we are talking about the super goop protect tint now i did test this like i said over on TikTok, I did a quick test. I wasn't in love with it, and I am on a mission to unlock the hack to tint. A full bead is not always what I need, but then bare face isn't always what I need either, and I gotta find something in the middle. So we're gonna be testing this. It's a little bit later in the day than I wanted it to be, um, because it is 1.41 p.m. in the afternoon, but I'm still gonna do a little mini wear test and be trying this as long as I can today. I'm gonna actually be applying as I talk about it. So this that was a lot more than i expected this um retails for 44 dollars. it is available at sephora it does say to do like two to three pumps per cheek so i'm just going to spread it around i'm in the shade 46 in i'll be honest this is a little more neutral than i ideally would have wanted getting into the shades this there are 14 shades of the tint and in comparison to some of the ranges we've been seeing for um tints or if you watch my last foundation review it was for fenty hydrovisor that may seem um on the smaller end which it is it was a decent range but i definitely think there is some room for more um tones and shades especially because although it's a tint i feel like it does have a decent coverage so it says you can use a brush a sponge or your fingers i'm a brush girl so i'm just going in with a brush especially because this will kind of help me pick up some of that product if i did apply a little too much now i'm an oily combination girl and my initial thoughts are or concerns are about the amount of dewiness with this product it has spf 50 in it which we love uh, sunscreen as i'm outdoor where i live a lot sunscreen is very important to me and so what i've noticed when i use products that have sunscreen at least a decent amount of sunscreen built into them there is a little bit more dew and a little bit more shine but no worries we're going to set her and hopefully that should fix it so if i'm 46 in i want to show you guys some of the colors around the range of where i am so 46 in is called their deep neutral so there's only two more shades after which I'll put here, 52 in, very deep neutral, and 58W, which is very deep warm. Now right before me is 42C, which is medium deep cool. So there is a little room for shades. And I do feel like nowadays, especially like, give the girls a range, especially Thinking that this is going to be a tint, I'm wearing this for SPF. My shade may be changing regardless of the season. Um, my shade may be fluctuating. If I love the product, it's nice to know that I can also get it in my summer shade, in my winter shade. So here's how it kind of applied with the brush. Again, it's a tint, so it's gonna be a lighter coverage. We're not going for super full new face. It says it is natural finish, light coverage. It says light coverage, not buildable, not medium light coverage and fragrance free i don't notice a fragrance best for dry combo and normal skin again i am a combination um oily girl not on the higher end though so i'm pretty normal to combination so i was thinking it would work for me but here's how to apply so definitely giving skin definitely giving do um, if you're looking for something to like erase texture this is not it for me it's clinging a little bit to almost give me like a makeup mustache and some imperfections, but I'm, I've heard really good things about this. It was literally sold out for months. So I wanna give it the full, full chance. I'm just using this Maybelline um, Instant Age of Rhyme Eraser. I'm gonna do a lighter concealer because since I'm doing a light coverage tint, I'm thinking like, okay, you are running errands, you're going to a little lunch, we're not doing a full beat. So I want to treat it as such. Going in with the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. I'm just gonna put that here. 
let that set and then we'll start blending her out. What do we think right now of just how the shade is matching? I feel like it did say deep neutral. They didn't have a deep warm, at least that I saw on the Sephora website. So I'm, I would be interested to see what a deep warm would look like because I do like to go a little bit warmer, but I feel like the tone is a pretty good color match for me. Let's go ahead and start blending this out. And I think like I've seen with a lot of products that say they're going to be dewy or have that natural finish and not a matte finish. Once I set them with powder, it makes a huge difference. I'm using my Real Techniques brush. I told you I'm in my brush era. So we're five minutes in application and literally if I'm using a 10, that's what I'm looking for. I want five minutes in and out. I think my ceiling fan thing is making a shadow on my head. Just ignore that. I had to close the curtains. I love natural light, but sometimes it is like too much. Even just putting that little bit on my forehead, I feel like took some of the shine away. What I'm hoping does not happen and I would love to be surprised is that I come back and I'm looking because when I talk, I know it might not be showing up on camera. I feel like it is sticking to or sinking into my imperfections. Like any texture or fine bumps, I feel like it's gripping onto them. I'm making that face just because I feel like when I talk or I do that, I can see like, and I do have textured skin. Um, so one thing that I look for a lot of times is, you know, pore minimizing and stuff like that, which this didn't say it was, but you know, I just had to see what the hype was about. Okay, so now that I put on a little bit of um, concealer, I'm gonna go in and start setting all the products with powder and I think that is going to be when we see the difference. This is just a mix of Ben Nye throwback. This is a mix of Ben Nye um, chestnut and I think it was like toffee whatever that golden shade was. I was gonna use that a little bit under my under eye, especially because this is not matte at all. And this will help kind of pull some of that oil out. A 10 minute bead is like what I want on a quick regular day. If I'm not really doing the things, and that's the problem. I start, I say I'm just gonna do a little bit and then I start doing a full bead. So if I can get a product that makes me look more awake and doesn't require the full, you know, steps, Amazing. Now I'm gonna go in with, I'm actually gonna go in with Skin Finish from MAC and um, Dark dark Deep, Dark Deepest. And I'm just gonna set over my face. It has some warmth to it, so I think it will help warm up anything that I'm feeling like is too neutral. It's definitely picking up some of that oil and mattifying a little bit. My camera just totally zoomed out. I am going to go walk to the store later, so she'll actually be tested in the wild against the elements. So this picked up some of the shine. Still have that dewy skin finish though, which is fine. We want my skin, but better and healthier. I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury. I saw somebody say this was overrated. Cannot late. This bronzer is so good and so big and still looks like I just bought it. Worth every penny. I'm a stand. I'm not a paid partnership. It's amazing. I'm going light with the contour. Just want to kind of, or with the bronzer, just want to kind of bronze up the face just a little bit. Nothing crazy. And now, of course, blush. I'm just going to do the um, Beauty Bakery uh, Hey Pumpkin blush love this just this today not mixing it with any pink just for like a natural flushed kind of look so i want to be like oh she has a makeup but it's not like crazy going neutral with the lip this is just a pixie clear balm also amazing um this is the nyx pencil very skin tone very nude for me this is in the shade brown y'all could have done a little better with the name but just something to hold it in and i'm doing this fast because literally that's what I want when it's a regular day and I'm going to the store. I want to just throw it on or else that's how I end up being like, here's these glasses and calling it a day. Okay. This is a Sephora um, lip gloss, lip balm, excuse me. What shade is she? Hazelnuts. It's really pretty in brown. Even over like a nude pink gloss, very pretty. Okay. Here. This is as is. Again, this is the Super Goop Protected in 46N. I am going to live my life. 
I'll be back to let you know how this did throughout the day. I see some shine already. I'm not going to touch my face. Maybe I'm just not a tent girl. Maybe I'm not trusting the process. I'll be back. Okay, y'all. I stuck it out the best I can. I go to bed early. So I'm literally holding out to the very last minute until I'm like, I got to go to bed to do this. It is 8.13. So we're about seven hours in um, like a regular work day, if you will. And this is how we're holding up right now. So surprisingly, it doesn't look any more dewy or like oily than it did during application. It's not like a complete mess, but I think at the end of the day, my verdict is if you are combination oily or oily, this is not for you. Um, I feel like, again, it's clinging in some areas I don't want it to cling. It's focusing on texture in some areas I don't want to focus on. I don't have a problem with the price or the 14 shades. Um, again, it's a tint, so I do know like it's a light coverage, but it's a little too light for me and a little too, I don't know. I guess if I'm going to do makeup and do the steps, I kind of want a little bit, a little bit of something. I might just not be a tint girl, but I will say I got compliments all day. As soon as my sister saw me, she was like, your makeup looks so good. It looks like you don't have makeup on, but like in a good way. Somebody on Instagram messaged me and said your makeup looks so good. So it might just be what I'm used to. Let me know your thoughts. What do you think about the Super Goo Protect Tint? Are you a tint girl? Are you a full coverage girl? Are you a no makeup girl? If you're a no makeup girl or a tint girl, then I think you will like this. I'm just still transitioning to the lighter side of things. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.